Welcome to the third tutorial for Pixel Composer. In this tutorial, we will go through the group and collection. A group is a way for you to organize your node by grouping multiple nodes into a one small group, which you can also reuse in the collection. For example, we can have a basic node structure. You can create a new group by selecting multiple nodes and then press Ctrl G. And as you can see here, when you create a new group this way, it will try to maintain the connection between the group itself and the outside. You can then double click on the group to go inside the content. As you can see here, it will automatically create an input node and an output node. This two nodes is a special node that can only access when you are inside this group. By right clicking, you can see the new category and you can also add input and output this way. Each of these input nodes is correlated to the input junction of this group. And the output node is also connected to these output values. So when you send the values to this output node, you will send value outside of the group. The name of this node will also be the same as the name of the junction. For example, if you select this node and then you change its name, When you go outside by using this context menu, you will see that the name of the junction will reflect on that change. Now when you create a group input, you can see that there are different properties that you can change. The first one is the order, which is the order that, not, that node will appear as a junction. The second property is the input types, which can be an integer, it can be a floating point or decimal values, and it can be a boolean or true or false, it can be colors, it can be a surface, etc. The most important one is integer, float, and surface. And when you change this input type, you will see that the color of this junction is also changed. And if this node is connected to other values, and then you change the input type, then that connection will be disconnected. Now we will connect this input node into the amount properties of this stripe node. As you can see here, these two junctions have different colors. This color represents an integer, but this color represents a floating or a decimal values. So when you connect these two junctions, you will see that Pixel Composer will try to convert the value between these two data types. In this case, you can easily convert from an integer into a floating values. Another important conversion is a conversion from a surface into a dimension, which is actually an integer vector. When you drag a surface into this dimension, this conversion will mean that it will try to get the surface size or the surface dimension. So it's 24 by 24. And this conversion is really important when you try to make your node flexible to every image size. The next property here is the display type. This display type will indicate what kind of display will appear when you're inspecting the group node. In the current version, when you select display type, it will show every possible display type, which is not the best approach for example, when you are selecting input type integer, there's still a choice for you to select gradient or palette, which should not be possible and this should be fixed in the next version. But right now, you can select, for example, make an integer display as a rotation. So now, when you select the group, this property can now be changed using the rotator. You can set it to be a slider, which you can also define the range of it, which will make the value now appear as a slider. Next is the collection. The collection panel is here, allow you to store a node or a node group and reuse it in multiple projects. And the folder structure here reflect the actual folder structure that you can see by clicking on this folder icon. And why it is possible for you to save the new node into this default collection, it is recommended to create a new folder for your custom collection because every time the software is updated, it will refresh this collection folder and it will replace every default folder with a new content. And to create a new custom folder, you have to make sure that you are not opening any folder. So you are now at the root directory. You click on add folder, press enter. And now when you refresh, that folder will appear. Clicking on this folder, we open it. Note that you cannot add new collection when you are in the root directory. You have to open some folder before this button is clickable. And this button will just say add the selecting node as collection. Clicking on this will ask you to type in the name. And this default name is the same name of your group. So if you change this, 
and then you click add node the name will change and now you can just press enter when you add new collection it will use the image that you are previewing at the, at the moment as a thumbnail in this case we didn't preview anything so there is no thumbnail so it just default to a default icon so now if you send some image as a preview and then we delete the current collection and we select the node that we want and then you create new collection as you can see here if we use preview as a thumbnail if you want the thumbnail to be animated you have to convert it into a sprite sheet using a render sprite sheet you can set to animation horizontal and then execute node now we are previewing the sprite sheet and we select the group that we want we click on add selecting node as collection and then press enter as you can see now the thumbnail is animated you can also update the collection by selecting on the collection right click on the collection that you want to update and then replace with selected note that when you update the collection it will not try to change the thumbnail and that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will go to the loop and feedback group which is a special type of group that allows you to create more complicated effects thanks for watching